Hi, right, so we're just off chattering for the day to a town nearby that we've not actually been to for ages. So we can't wait to see what has changed. We think there's another charity shop there as well. So we're just dropping the kiddos off at their grandparents for the day. So they're looking forward to being spoiled all day, like you do by your grandparents. <laughs> First shot, it's a solid start. We spent 70, 66 pounds, well, 66 pounds, 70 something pounds, but we had a five pound loyalty card thing stamped up. Also, it was buy one, get one half price on all entertainment. So that was DVDs, games, Jigsaws. books, jigsaws. So we saved a load there. Um, we've, we're really happy with the start and we got games brand new sealed brand new ravensburger jigsaw oops um shoes rosas are after you Shalom. um shoes what, what were those um oh picture frames picture frames yeah what were they for ebay yeah some like good ones, Alessi ones. So Alessi are that kitchen, like Italian brand. They do like funky sort of kitchen wear. We've looked at their stuff before. Yeah. But they're Alessi brand new photo frames in boxes. So. Okay, so having a look at what we picked up, um, quite a bit. And this is just toys and games. Uh, we've got clothes and shoes to show you as well and some other bits and bobs. Um, I put on Instagram actually, Yahtzee, love finding Yahtzee. Um, what's really popular, I've got three of them there, is the the leather shaker and the green sort of play area thing. It's like felty thing. Um, so you find them with the leather shakers, uh, they're good. Now these are old, these are 1976, 1982. Um, so if you get them, you can uh, you can get pretty good money from uh, looking around 
between 20 and 30 pounds if you get the right buyer. So uh, also uh, go for broke, always worth picking up. Um, it's nice and retro. Old Boulder Dash, that's 20th century Boulder Dash, goes very well. Um, any sort of different trivial pursuits, uh, some of them are worth nothing um, and some of them do quite well. So always worth having a look at those. This is TV TV edition. Uh, what else have we got here? A few things that I haven't seen before, I don't think. Uh, Magic Tooth Fairy game, that's pretty good. Uh, Mr and Mrs is a staple. Uh, old mouse trap. Um, this is in really good condition. Uh, I think this was 1990s, 1990s. Uh, so that's going to do well. Uh, start getting into deal or no deal with the electronic phones. They go pretty well. Um, and also, see there is the old Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Can't really see it properly, but that is the big un big electronic unit. And I'm really liking the look of the cards in there. They look very good condition. Um, that's a good one to look out for. Um, my first Scrabble is good. Um, and also some of the Trivial Pursuit expansion packs. So that gen is to get around 15 pounds. So there we go, hope you like what you saw. We were four or five hours sourcing. Um, haven't added up the receipts but it was 14 charity shops hello so what did we get okay so we've got loads and loads of shoes i like picking up shoes i find they're easy to photograph and then um, list and sell they're quick so i will show you what we got um some wide fit hush puppies ladies they were seven pounds this is a new brand for us trickers yeah Look them up in the shop, they are okay, they're sort of vintage looking, uh, made in Italy. Um, they were five pounds. <sighs> Probably most shoes we go for try to go for between 22 50 and 25 pounds, unless there's something really really special about them. So we'll aim for that for those, unless there's more to get from them when um, I do my research for my list. So size wise, I don't uh, five is the smallest I'll go, um, and anything up there so i don't think i've really ever picked up a nine eights i've picked up i think i might have an eight here um but six six and a half are average seven are good wide fit are even better clark's mary jane's mary jane's are a really good style they sell quickly these were 8.99 i'll probably go 25 put best offer on most things so if i list for 25 i'm happy to take 22.50 and they were wide fit weren't they which is even better uh, here we've got some Marks and Spencer's foot glove. I only tend to pick up Marks and Spencer shoes if they are foot glove, and they often do the wider fit, which these ones are the little wedges. Um, these were four pounds, and it looks like they've not been worn. Uh, here we've got some fit flops. These are a great brand because they're quite expensive fit flops, and I think once you convert to a fit flop, you don't go back it's all to do with the special heel that has a special technique and apparently it's supposed to tone your legs um yeah you, whatever you've tried fit not actual no i've got um they're not sandals they're just black shoes oh. it was an emergency online <laughs> next day delivery purchase for something i needed uh, but these are gold and these are those are always the worst purchases yeah i think i've only worn them once uh, 6.99 and I can't see the size but they look around a 5 or a 6 so that's good nice. um, these are lovely gabors got some nice bows on the front again not been worn uh, these were 8.99 they've got the original price on of 69.99 and they're a size 5 so I might go 30 with those ones um, Hobbs don't tend to pick up Hobbs shoes, um, but these were great condition. They are, it says on the bottom, Marilyn Anselm, or Anselm, designed for Hobbs. Oh, very perfect. So I reckon that might be a good thing. Um, made in Italy, 37 and a half, so that's five and a half, navy blue, which is always good. Navy blue. It goes with anything, doesn't it? 
Maybe. No. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, some more M&S foot glove. Not been worn. These are wider fit again. They're leather. 5 99 Size 5 and a half. Don't normally pick up really high heels, but the animal print with the sort of horse hair style um, make, I mean, they've got a bit of a scuff on, but these are Steve Madden. I've got Steve Madden shoes, a few pairs, and they're really comfy. They're not cheap. Uh, these have still got the original prices on. These were £6.50. They're a size 7, and actually it hasn't got the original size on, just the sticker with the, sorry, price. I haven't got the price. But yeah, Steve Madden, not been worn. Happy with those. Have you tried them on? God no, break my neck. <laughs> um, I always pick up hotter shoes if they're reasonably priced. Some people, I mean, some charity shops we go in, they're like £25 a pair, which is just ridiculous. These were £8 and they are a size, not sure five or a six but often in the heel inside heel of a hotter shoe where the size is which says five and a half it will also say the name of the shoe these ones are called donna so if you google hotter shoes donna then you should be able to get more information about the shoe so what they're made from how high the heel is um anything any extra information it's always worth looking up they were eight pounds this is another new brand for us I've got a light right in my face wolky w-o-l-k-y they're a size 42 and they're designed for walking they're, they're an interesting shoe but i looked them up i can't remember what now what um it said in the shop and uh, they were 8.99 but they were well worth it and again the soles are really good and also don't forget when you buy a new shoe or any shoe if if they do the bend test um bend this part of the toe and if this area cracks then you don't want to buy them because they can look new but they could be perished inside from being on a shelf or in a shed or something and they'll break as soon as the person wears them uh russell and bromley another good make these were five pounds they're kind of a shiny sort of shiny mm. but they are Stuart Weitzman for Russell and Bromley and these were five pounds quite a nice heel on the back uh, but when it's a collaboration between someone and a well-known popular brand then I tend to pick them up and they're leather soles as well so I'll probably go for more than 25 on those uh, Caravelle, I don't normally pick this brand up, however, they're a size 8 and they're Mary Jane's with a, like a really sort of tiny little wedge. Um, they were 6 99 I got those today I think. Um, they should do well because of the style and the size. Oh, this is getting full. It is getting full. Um, men's Hush Puppies Brogues, these remind me of my granddad. Uh, size 11 they were 10 pounds I'm gonna aim for sort of 35 with the exception offer of 30 on those but they're really good condition I don't even think they've been worn and the last pair of shoes are Gabor these remind me of the Dr. Scholl um, sandals the, the wooden ones my mum used to wear them when I was like, a baby but they sell really well if you see them um but i picked these up today they were 4.99 nice wooden leather buckle uh, they're size five seem to have a lot of size fives and then the last bit of footwear but not a shoe are these ice hockey ice skates they are bauer elite nexus and they were 10 pounds and they look like they're in quite good condition. I don't know what size they are. Oh, here we go. Scratchy, scratchy. Yeah, eight and a half. Oh, US eight and a half. UK seven and a half. I did some really sort of um, basic research in the shop. And some of them are going for £100. I think it depends on what type of bower skate they are. Um, 
they're light speed pro so we'll see but i'm you can get 30 or more then i'm winning oh yeah george ross he inspired me because i've already watched a few of his videos i don't really do youtube but simon does and um i watched some the other day and he had some ice skates so he inspired me yeah it's a great great channel so on the off chance that someone's watching this that doesn't watch george ross i'll link it in the video and you're on with brick a brack brick a brack yeah so and or other other categories yeah uh magic eight ball this was two pounds simon ask the eight ball yeah it's really like you see it referenced loads in films and all the rest of it so you ask anyone that's not aware you ask the magic eight ball a question so ask a question um should i buy some cheese at the cheese and wine thing tonight oh, i forgot you were going to that the eight ball says no <laughs> oh hang on i don't know if you can see that <laughs> no, I where's the so I'm not going to buy any cheese. Or consult. Oh, it's gone. Amazing. Consult me later. Oh, okay. Anyway, they're quite popular, and um, I don't know. They sell for like a tenner or something, and we got it for. Oh, you peeled the price two. of two quid, but we we always price high, so I'm sure we'll get more than that. Okay. Um, picked up this candle for three pound, and I can't remember if it was to sell or to keep. Uh, so I'll have to look into that. But it's a Stone Glow Candle London Green Fig and Cedar Fragrance Candle, hand poured in the UK. So it might be a good one. Not sure, but that was three pounds. Because I mean, one thing we do need, I, I keep saying it, is more candles. We just don't have enough candles. <laughs> I picked this up. This is the original handprint tin, um, my child's hand to cherish. So you do a handprint in plaster of Paris of your baby or your little one. Um, but the reason I picked it up is because it's American, um, not made in China or anything like that. And I tend to pick up and look closely at things that are made in America or made in the UK. And this seemed pretty good for eBay. So. I picked that up for £3.50. Pass it to me and I'll pass it down. Okay. And then Alessi. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the brand Alessi, but they do really cool, sort of expensive kitchen things like um, glass jars with little men on the top, um, sort of cheese graters, that sort of thing. But they're always metal and they're always really good quality. Um, and I picked up these two brand new in the box picture frames of theirs. I think they're selling for about £25 on eBay. Um, I might be wrong, but they were three pound each, so that's good. Bog. Bargain. And one of us picked up this Polaroid camera. Oh, was that, that was in, in that? The oh. last, the last. That shop. shop. I was like, get the hell out of here. The last one. It was three pounds. We walked in. It was a, a charity shop we we'd not been to before in the town that we went to. Oh, and... we had just hadn't been in there for ages. This is the one I said, get out of here now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, my anecdote doesn't work then because it's about a different charity shop. So, I'll, um, <laughs> she shot me down. <laughs> so we'll leave that there. Cool. Thank you. So Did that one from that last one. Yeah, it's here. Oh yes. So there oh, you go. I can tell a story now. So we went in this charity shop that we've not been to before. It turns out it has been open for five years, but it's kind of tucked around the back and not very obvious at all in fact its name would suggest it's an eatery but anyway oh, was it something cafe without giving away the location of where uh. we go chattering so um we so I walked in and it was like an aladdin's cave and it was very very promising and i the, the lady hadn't had a customer since two o'clock uh, and it was 20 to 5 or something so I walked in and I could see all this stuff. I could see like atmosphere board games and I, could, and I was like, oh, well, you're definitely going to get a sale out of us. Anyway, we sort of poked around and it, it kind of became quite apparent quickly that it actually wasn't very good. Like the atmosphere was VHS and I just you can't be bothered with that. And other stuff just didn't appear what it's like. So we nearly walked out empty handed, but um, there was then a cabinet of cameras and most of them were just knackered. Um, but this one, Cannon Shaw shot, I think Faith probably already said that. Um, 
So there was some money in it. Two not, probably not much. We spent two quid, yeah. Um, probably not much money in it, like 15 quid, but... Um, Lots of 15 quid add up. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean, yeah. Uh, but you know what it's like. I thought we were going to spend hundreds and we spent two quid. Right, next. Now I set this up to make it seamless. Oh, hang on, it's gone too far there. Okay, so vintage Tupperware cups um, with lids that also double up as coasters. So actual, not the sort of um, general use of the word Tupperware. But actual, actual, real life Tupperware. Real Tupperware. And we've got four, five, six of them with six coasters. I'm going to pop them in the dishwasher. I thought they were lids. They are, I just said they're lids and all coasters. Oh. Uh, 7.99 for those. I have no idea what I'm going to aim for them, but my mum had those. We had those when I was little, for, like picnics and things all in the garden. Boop, boop, boop. And then this it caught my eye because it's so different. <laughs> this is so it's Hol Holcom, H O L K H A M. Um, I was going to look them up on my phone. <laughs> it's Owl <laughs> Holcom. Owl. So we have two, four, six coffee cups. Um, I think that's like a sugar bowl, a jug, and a coffee or teapot with lid. And it was twenty four ninety nine. Paid quite a lot for it at the time, but I remember looking it up, thinking it was worth it. Um, Can you hear that? It's the dog. The dog is digging on the bean bag. Slightly interrupting our uh, <laughs> recording. Right. And did you want to do? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, this Polaroid camera is a bit of a chunk. I know nothing about Polaroids. I've never owned a Polaroid. I know they're really popular, um, <coughs> but it's. I couldn't big. even. I've been trying to find out where the batteries go. Um, so so far, I've managed to do. Not that. that that's where you load the um cassette, cassette cartridge film film and i also managed to do Ooh. this i mean I don't... oh does that come out i don't know uh, i think we need to read the instructions so what i was trying to do is find out where to put the batteries so i could see if it worked but i haven't Four pound though. Four pound with instructions with the case. Uh, it's got to be good money in that. And um, just can you pass me those? Yeah. Uh, just to pick up because I liked it. Uh, Lonely Planet Kids sort of record bag, kind of retro style. It's got like activity packs inside. It's um, branded Emirates, so it must be something they got on a flight. I don't know if that would be. Um, Collectible? No, economy, or if it was better than an economy class. Mm. Um, but it's three pounds, and I reckon 12, 14 for that. But it's nice. That's sort of thing I liked when I was a kid. And this joystick, I know nothing about joysticks, but I looked at it probably because I've seen a lot of people pick up this sort of thing. It's got buttons. What needs, brand is it? Geo Geotech, which are a reasonably well known. Is it a Geotech? I think so. Oh my god, it's stuck to the table. <laughs> I think it's just, it says it somewhere. I saw it. Yeah, it? it's not. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Definitely saw it. Oh, it's got an on off switch. Oh, vibration on off. Yeah, so uh, I think we looked that up and. Um, we did. Right. Yeah. Clothes, moving on to clothes. Okay, we have a men's Lacoste shirt. This was £5.20, random price, short sleeves, but I couldn't leave it for that money. Do you want to, so am yeah. I putting them oh, back? No, or? just hang on there, dogs can chew on. Uh, next one is a Ted Baker endurance shirt. What did you say about picking up Ted Baker? Ted Baker, the, the popular Ted Baker is kind of the pattern stuff at the moment. Um, the, plain, the plain stuff, for us anyway, isn't really selling and, and looking at the comps on ebay it's i mean obviously you've bound to have sold plainer stuff but it's kind of the patterns to look, to look for for us anyway it's a 17 inch collar which is 
about me. Okay. Extra and, large. And it's a Ted Baker Endurance, which I think is the better, like, it's better. Better than two. Endurance is better than non-endurance. Yeah. Lasts longer. Um, picked up this Columbia jacket earlier. Um, I have to spin it around because it's got my purple thing on the back. Um, I think it needs a wash, just need to check it. <laughs> um, but I paid nine ninety nine for that. Luna, I'll get out of there. She's loving it. Yeah, she is. Okay. Okay. Jeans. I like selling jeans because they're easy. Uh, these are Farood. Farod. Farood. Farood. And look at the logo on the bum. Nice. Uh, they, I've never heard of them before. Uh, they were four ninety nine. Um, we try to with clothes. Um, if it's three times the um, cost, if that's what we can list them for, then that's good. But we always go try and go for more. So they would have been at least sixteen pounds on eBay when I checked comps. Nice, good numbers. But more, I would think. Another pair of jeans. What ones are these? These were four ninety nine, and they are Dolce and Gabbana. Um, yeah. Sweet. Running out of places to hang things. Oh, I'll put them back. There we go. Another pair of jeans, the far skinny. These are ladies' jeans, and these were five pounds. With clothing, I tend to go for men's large, um, extra large and higher. Uh, women's tend to go sort of 14 and higher, but I would always I always start looking at the higher sizes and then work my way down. Uh, these are replay jeans. There we go. And these were five pounds. Another pair of jeans. I think these are quite small. For all mankind. Oh, I got these. I picked these up. They were four pounds. Skinny they're, crop. They're made in. They're American, made in the USA. I looked it up in the shop, and the comps were a bit hit and miss. Well, no, a bit mixed. But of course, you always get the people that sell them on auction for ninety nine p. But um, at twenty pounds, I don't think it's going to be a problem. They were selling actually. They were getting shipped from the the states, um, so there is demand in the UK for that brand. Next, we've got some Levi's. Now, this is a smaller than usual leather tag on the back of the Levi's, um, which would make me sort of wonder, but I'm actually wearing Levi's right now. They've got the same style tag on, so. Ooh. Ooh, and I got mine but from... You, you do shop in the market. So. <laughs> no, I don't. I got them from John Lewis, I think. Uh, but these are Levi's 552s, and they were 6 99 Do you want me to hang them up No, again? it's all right. Okay. Next... We have, it sort of reminds me of the 70s, it's Planet, and it's brand new with tag, size 16, it's kind of like a smock sort of mini dress. Is it like a bit Austin powers -y? It is a bit Austin powers -y, yeah, that was £7. <clears throat> Next, we have postcard from Brighton, I've got a couple of their tops, I know that they're sort of boutique-y, quite expensive, it's got like nice sort of sheared sleeves. Might keep it for myself, forgot we've got it. Might try it on and wear it later. That's the focus. It's too bright. Uh, oh. How much was it? Three pounds. Cool. And then I picked this East top up. It's sheer. It's got lots of beading around here, which is nice. It's size 16. It was three pounds. I think that's probably one of the reasons I picked it up. Um... It's 100% silk. Boom. Size 16. Nice. Now, this could have been a big mistake, but <sighs> it was only £2. So I thought I'll try again. Because we had a, it's Orvis and it's ladies. We had a Cotigan, of all, an Orvis Cotigan for ladies that stuck around for ages. And that Aztec one. Yeah. That was in one of our first lives on Instagram, wasn't it? A couple of years ago that. And we yeah. sold, sold it about a month ago. <laughs> £2 though. What the hell? I'll give it a go. This is very sort of golfy. Mm, and it's, it's like Pringle, isn't it? A-U-R. I looked it up in the shop. I can't remember. Um, It was £4. No, it was, yeah, £4. Extra large. 
it must have been worth it, otherwise I wouldn't have got it. <laughs> Very informative. That was a pound, whatever that was. Where was it? You didn't remember I said, oh, that it was something that wasn't priced, so she charged you a pound for it. This was in uh, the one that used to have the bookshop upstairs. So, oh, right, Salvation Army. It's Did 100% you, silk. Was it, like, caught up in something, or...? Must have been. <laughs> I don't remember picking that. I thought... Oh. It's 100% silk, 100% though. 100% silk. Oh, that's all right. Then, well, <laughs> that was a pound. <laughs> nice. It must have been caught I think up. Luke, that's happened before. I think Luna would look good in that. Oh, yeah. That's happened before. With, we ended up with, like, a size 8... Um... Yeah. Oh, what's... Primark or something. No, it wasn't... Um... I can't think. I've got a jumper from there. Mint velvet. We ended up something like an eight mint velvet. Um, size 18 Bowden dress. Don't normally pick up Bowden, but it was six pounds and it was a larger size. So I thought, why not? And because of that, I also picked up. What's this one? This size 20 Bowden dress. It's really nice. It's like mm. a nice sort of warm. Material look good for tights. Six pounds. Okay. And I did about five items to go. Um, a jewels dress. This is a UK twelve, which is smaller than I'd normally pick up. But it's jewels. It's floral. Uh, it's got nice buttons down the back. And that was that was six pounds. Yes, I think <laughs> they're all off the same rail. And the lady um, said I'd done really well. You picked this up. I did. This was as you were paying, uh, Joe Brown's cardigan. Cardigan UK 18, five pounds seventy. But I reckon that will do quite well. It's a bit yeah, funky. Funky, isn't it? The red and white buttons. Hmm. Uh, I saw a hair. A hair. What's going hair. on here? Is this yeah, a skirt? Yeah. And you've hung it on a shirt. Yeah. So this <coughs> whistles skirt that's hung on the wrong type of coat hanger, which threw me. Uh, it's whistles. Good brand. Uh, size 16, £4.50. I've got to admit, when I was hanging off, I, I could not work it out. I was like, what is this? What? I didn't even, it didn't even twig that it wasn't the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of almost like a poncho. Uh, this little polo deck, uh, the brand is Theory. <laughs> um, that was three pounds. Um, never heard of it. Must have looked at it in the shop to pick it up. <clears throat> Couple more. Uh, this is brand new tags. Very funky, sort of Aztec. -y. Um, it's Shigo, and it looks German. Is I that, is it wool? Zydine Gluck on Shigo. Five pounds. I don't think it is wool. Trying to find it. But it's just a bit funky, a bit different. Never heard of the brand. I obviously, again, would have looked it up at the no, time. Fifty percent acrylic, fifty percent cotton. Oh, mix. <laughs> this is Simon's pickup. <coughs> yep. And other stories, sort of wrap around blouse, <coughs> four pound seventy. On your eBay listings, who puts Amp and ampersand other stories, and who puts A and D? Let us know in the comments because. I do wonder. We've got another and other stories top here. Orange is definitely a theme. I put all the orange together, did you notice? Yeah, it? I did. Well done. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. It's very autumnal. Yeah. This Jaeger uh, sort of Bolero cardigan. Uh, this, was it? A 70% silk, £4.49, <laughs> extra large. What was so good about this one? I can't remember. Oh, Oliver Bonus, size 12, but orange. Uh, <laughs> £4.70. I thought it was really cute because it's got these buttons on the back. Definitely. Oh, is that the back? Yeah. It's definitely orange. Yeah. You can um, jogging in that, can't you? Another orange item is this Bowden dress. Uh, size... Do not, adjust, do not adjust your contrast. This is these are all orange. Size twenty two, six pounds. Uh, <laughs> this is the last item. Another Bowden dress. I bet it was six pounds. Yes, size sixteen, navy blue. All off the same rail. The lady said that we got there just at the right time. 
Well done. Yeah. That was uh, everything that we got on the trip. Um, I haven't added up the receipts. I know we went to 14 charity shops and I know that we spent more than the £150 at Fagest earlier in the video. Um, must have been close to 500 I, I would think. Um, it was a great day out. We had the dogs for a couple of months so we get out less um, or go out for shorter periods of time. Being resellers gives us the opportunity to spend a lot of time with the dogs, um, they're rescue dogs so they need like a bit of extra attention. So we wouldn't have got them if we worked full time so it was a treat. We knew that if we did our own thing that we could get a dog and turns out we got two. Because <laughs> yeah. they came as a package, they couldn't be split. Um, so they're best friends. Um, but that's one of the best things about reselling, being able to have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, not having to rely on other people. Also, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, my first like one. Faye's first sort of video. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Um, and we'll be sharing loads more really soon. Bye for now. Bye.